Good Monday afternoon from Bavaria. So let's see what's new. I got the watercolor markers. Albert Durer, Albrecht Durer, watercolor markers, five. Let's open them up and take a look at them. I don't know why I didn't find these at the other store. I maybe mean, didn't look in the right place. There was bad news. There is no more Sanders Waterford paper available in Germany. Okay, so let's see. Here's the black. This is the, I don't know. I think this is the brush end. Well, it's not bad. You put a of detail with that. You see that? And here's the marker end. Too big for it for doing the lettering, but it's good enough for doing that other stuff. Unfortunately, it's too bad they don't sell these in a in a fine tip. I could use them in a fine tip. There's no question. I bought a set with the primary colors here. So I thought they might be useful for other things. So I do have a large collection of markers that I use sometimes. I don't know, we'll see. If you're super careful with them, I still think the other pens work better. bought the yellow marker that I didn't buy. Okay, well, anyways, there it is. We have them. They're there. I really wish they had a, a, some kind of a... This, this is supposed to be a watercolor marker from Japan. It's called Tombao ABT, ABT, water-based, made in Vietnam, of all places. And... It has a thin line. It has a thin line, and it has a brush. The brush is a thinner line. Hmm. Hmm. So, we'll try both of these. They look kind of interesting if you ask me. I also got these brushes to maybe do some acrylic painting. These are some cheap, they're some cheap brushes. I wonder how cheap they are. It was a fast run to Augsburg this morning at 9.30. And then I left pretty early at 12. I didn't want to hang out. Dagger brushes here, that's kind of cool. 
this worries me. I don't know if you can see this. Like these hairs aren't aren't really all together. I don't know. We'll see how it works. I'll try them out later. <coughs> Alright, so that's it for new toys. I'm gonna put the paper away for now. Put the knife away. these away. And what are we going to fire up and do here today? I think we're going to try to work on this one. I'd like to get this to the point where I can actually do this one. put in that, I need to do this, and I need to do some work up here. Let me see if I can get some focus going here. there is pretty good. <clears throat> so, what I need for this, number five, pencil. I need my straight edge, this straight edge, the small one. And I need access to the picture. Man, this day has just flown by. I mean, flown by. Of course, anytime you make a run into Augsburg, that's a that's a trip. Hmm, 13 windows up here, that's weird. I wouldn't have expected 13 windows. I do expect the fact that these windows and these windows and these windows are all the same as those windows. And then there's more windows over here. I think there's a lot of windows here. So let's write this down. There's 13 in this block. And then in the next block, there's five, and then there's two, and then there's five, and then there's two, and then there's two. This was five, two, five, two, two, two. Five, two, going to be smaller. Five, two, two. Well, we can start with this. This is going to have to change. Hmm. Let's go ahead and put these in. Let's also look at the news. There is exciting news today. See Dutch police and protesters clash over COVID-19 measures. Yes, they're fighting in Holland. Tensions are high on the Ukraine border with Russia. Yes, they are. Yoffie Berry Berkeley balcony collapse survivor dies age 27. Oh, that's a bummer. World's oldest person celebrates another birthday, 119. Cool, happy birthday to her. 
very little else there of interest. Deutsche Welle. Looted art restitution is only the start. Yeah, good luck with that. South Africa Parliament fire under control. Biden promises Ukraine decisive, decisive response if Russia invades. That I just, I don't even know what to say. In August, there was a complete disaster with the evacuation of Afghanistan. And now America is promising to defend the Ukraine against Russia. All I can say is, is that I just wouldn't take that stuff terribly, I, I just couldn't, I wouldn't feel comfortable taking that stuff and risking my life on it, man. I mean, you know. Oh yeah, baby, we'll take care of you. Uh-huh, yeah, sure you will. I wouldn't buy into it. I don't really know what to say. Ukraine has a reputation as the most corrupt country in all of Europe. A country that is that corrupt is going to have problems any way you slice and dice it. I don't know how you fix it. somebody out there is viewing this chat send me a message and I will answer your question you can have a whole new perspective on the world from Kloster Lechfeld Bavaria Turkish inflation hits Erdogan era high of 36 percent hmm South Korea, DMZ crosser, likely once fled from the north, and now he's gone back. Man, that dude is in some very deep kimchi. That's all I can say. They are not going to be happy to see him back in the Hermit Kingdom. Not in the least. There are 56 millimeters from side to side. We need to get 13 windows in there. So that's 13, 26, 52. So about four millimeters between windows. And about half a millimeter Man, that guy is not having a good day. You leave North Korea and then you die defect back. I I just can't imagine what is going on in that guy's head. It's like, what are you thinking, dude?
That's pretty close. I don't know what that guy's thinking, man. That's, that's, boy. <coughs> Hong Kong Citizens News cites media crackdown and closure. Yeah. China. It's the new North Korea. You know? So, yeah. The, ask some questions. Make some comments. Today we're working on a drawing. There's a lot to work on here. This is one of the most complex drawings I've done in decades. It is for a watercolor painting. It's going to be one of the most complex watercolor paintings I've done, ever. But the drawing has to be right before we start painting. Let's see, I told you about my day. I got up. I did some language learning for Czech. I ate breakfast. Well, first I made breakfast, then I ate it. Then I decided it would be a good idea to go to Augsburg. So I did. Then I find out you can't buy a one-day ticket to Augsburg anymore online. You can only buy a two-day ticket, of which I'm rather annoyed about. Or no, two-person ticket for one day. You can buy the one-person ticket at the train station in the machine. But you cannot buy it online. Clearly a clever ploy by Deutsche Bahn to put more ducats in their coffers. There are going to be a lot of unhappy people. Well, it's not Germany. It's not Deutsche Bahn. It's the Augsburg Regional Traffic Group, whatever thing you call it. Augsburg is fair care of a Rhine. I have no idea how you translate that to English. It's the Augsburg Public Transport Group. We're going to have some, some alterations here, in my opinion. Five in here? Yeah, we can probably get five in there. Drop a new line down here. This is a new line here. All these lines need to come out. They're simply guidelines. 
measured the distance from here to the border of the Ukraine, which is with Slovakia. It's about 850 miles from where I live to that border. I don't think the Russians can push this far west. They weren't able to do it in 1945. I don't think they'll be able to do it today. And they had a much bigger army in 1945. Taliban revoke Afghan women's hard-won rights. That is not a surprise. American teenager Ricardo Pepe secures Bundesliga move. Yeah, Augsburg. Wow, he's coming to Augsburg. I parted with around 20 million for Ricardo Pepe. He becomes the club's record signing to Augsburg. Okay. Well, he'll like it here. Ex-president and Polish icon Lech Walesa is broke. Due to COVID-19, but he has had questionable finances for some time. That's not good. It's not good to be broke in Europe. Bankruptcy here is an unpleasant experience, regardless of which country you're in. Some places it's criminalized. He is not going to have fun if he's broke. He's going to be in the poor house. Yes, him. That is where he will be. The Polish pole house, poor house. I don't know how that's going to go. I would not want to be there myself. don't know how you can how well you can see what I'm doing here I'm lining off a grid to lay out the windows on this building it's really the only right way to do this if, if you don't get these windows pretty much accurately if, if, if you don't draw them so that they're spaced out etc 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 It just doesn't look right. You, you're not going to make any progress with it. This is like, it's like what I keep saying. Some things you just got to draw right. If you're doing a drawing like this, a big city scene, even if you're doing a very painterly style, you're probably still going to need to use a ruler to lay out the basic grid. And something most art teachers won't tell you and won't discuss in public is that that's what everybody's doing. Even the so-called Impressionists. Two, three, four. Hmm. Maybe the maybe not all the impressions. I don't think Van Gogh laid stuff like this out with a ruler. But Van Gogh didn't paint anything like this. <coughs> this was not the kind of scene Van Gogh was known for.
Okay, we'll deliberately screw up the last one. Only one window short of the exact accurate count, but screw it. But yeah, anybody else who's doing buildings like this, this kind of cityscape, there, some people can probably lay this out without a ruler. Well, I don't think you could do this one, it's too complicated. But they can lay out some city buildings, with, like I can do that with some city buildings. It depends on what I'm doing. But this, this drawing is so complicated only possible way I see to do this and have any chance of making it look right or getting the effect that I want or whatever you want to call it is using a ruler. stuff in. And I won't, well you'll see when I actually paint this. I won't be insanely pedantic about following these, some of this stuff. You just, you gotta do it. If this is the effect that you're trying for as a re fairly realistic painting, even if it's somewhat impressionistic, and you want the windows to all line up, then, then you've got to get a ruler and line them up. I haven't met anybody who can draw a building like that or like this. This is a good example right here. This. All that was done with rulers. All this city in here. And see, it looks like a building with windows. Maybe a few people can do that. I don't know. I don't know many. I remember I had a friend in Arkansas once who was a professional artist. He showed me some stuff he was working on. And it was all fairly realistic. And everything was laid out with the drafting triangles and, and T-square. Everything in the drawing was laid out following the rules of perspective before any paint went on. He got paid a lot of money for this stuff. He was a serious professional artist. He was making six figures a year and he was doing mostly the kind of paintings that you sell to corporations and universities. I mean, he had a, he had a market. He was kind of a weird guy in some ways. I'll never forget that. And you noticed that I was looking at that. He goes, yeah, you study architecture, didn't you? Yeah, he goes, yeah, we do that. But we don't tell anybody. Ah, okay. We do that, but we don't tell anybody. Oh, yeah, baby, I'm an artist. I did this all freehand. Because I'm just such an amazing dude. Also, if you're making up a fantasy landscape and you're not trying to make anything realistic, then the proportions don't matter. You can go with whatever you want. It don't matter. But here, you got to do the work. <clears throat> Trade halted in Evergrande's shares in Hong Kong. Not surprising. wasn't all that much to say. What does Dubelt say? Anything in here? 
Ende der Ära von forcierten Sorglosigkeit. End of the era of forced, basically, Sorglosigkeit is like, it's similar to poverty. Unable to care for yourself. Maybe being a little overly optimistic about Olaf Scholz in the new realm. I don't think we've reached that stage yet. Germany is in much better shape regarding homeless people and poverty than the United States is. But we still have problems. People do slip through the cracks. Technically, it's illegal to be homeless here. And the illegality is not on the part of the homeless person, it's on the part of the government. So really, the local government officials are supposed to be thrown in jail if there's homeless people. I'm sure it's shocking to American minds. However, that's how it works here. Mm, I missed a word that well. Guess what? I don't care. accidental foreshortening here, but I'm not going to worry about it. We have about half a million homeless people in a population of 84 million. So four times it would be like we had two million homeless in the United States. And I think the real number is probably more around at least 15. It's seven or eight times worse there than it is here. that building that people know what it is. Now we're going to get into this little section. Deutschland Nachschub stockt aus einem ganz neuen Grund. Ungeliebte Logistics Zentren. Unloved Logistics Center. Problems with logistics. We have a huge one of those places north of here. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this. Oh, you bastards.
one two one four three two. That'll do. Again, we're, we're at the very edge of the paper here. Nobody will notice this. It's not perfect. It doesn't matter. So I guess the news wasn't that exciting today. I told you about Augsburg. When I left, the ordinance omt was out stopping people in the streets. I do not know why. I did not stick around to find out. Probably for not wearing masks in public. It's probably going to raise its ugly head again. Right now, you don't have to wear a mask in public officially that I know of, or at least most people aren't doing it. But maybe that regulation changed over the holidays. When one, two, and that's it. Yeah, I don't know what the ordinance sound was all about. That was weird. When I first came here, you didn't see him ever. Then the crisis happened. Now they're out there all the time. I'm not entirely sure why. Augsburg is a strange city. It's not typically German. It's more like a private individual state. It's like a city-state from 500 years ago. A very rich city-state, without question. Probably the richest city-state in all of Germany. But it does tend to operate on its own set of rules. More so than other German places. There are these little tiny windows over here. I do not know. Then here, there is a kind of balcony.
and then below that there are two arches and nothing inside them and then below that nothing it is yellow 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 same thing over here nothing there I know what's over here we're just going to invent something Good enough for government work. Alright. That part of the painting is done. Now we gotta work on this part. We're making progress. This is almost ready to paint. We are almost there. Okay, the annex is done. Then there's this thing. I don't know what happened here. Ah, now I know what happened there. Alright, this is going to get complex here. I probably need to bring this down right here next to where we're working. This should really continue. These should really come out. That's a red roof. And this some fact work construction. And there's a couple of windows here, but we will just put in one. And then we'll continue here. A little hard line. This comes down and over. And then where's Mr. Ruler? Yes, we're going to need Mr. Ruler again.
Fortunately for us, these windows are dark. So we can just draw that in. We can re-add these chimneys here. The amount of detail that this drawing requires is astonishing. So anyways, that was my big trip to Augsburg today. It was not very exciting. they architected this in the first place, I have no clue. The, the original drawings to build all this stuff were clearly done by somebody on a large quantity of mushrooms or something. <coughs> Somebody was probably going to ask me someday, how in the hell do you draw something like that? Well, you start with the big blocks. You start with the big stuff and you work towards the small stuff. You start with the big shapes and work towards the little shapes. Every single time. And <clears throat> don't be afraid to simplify. Nobody is ever going to know if you've actually got everything in here that was originally here. Secondly, the truth is, a lot of this stuff is being altered all the time. There are changes and stuff happening. <clears throat> Frankly, people just, most people are not going to compare this to the original to see. Oh, look, over here, this tiny little building, you missed this detail. Some people will. And to them, I say, good, you go paint. There's nothing stopping you from doing your own version. This is all public domain. <coughs> it's no big deal. You can paint your own. Okay, let's see what's happening here. It is technically this should be bigger. And that will solve several other problems.
And here we're going to get into some selective reductionism. I.e. it's not worth trying to paint everything exactly the way that it is. It's just... At this point it's not worth the effort. If I had taken a lot more time to lay this out more carefully, it might be different. But I have not taken that time. This is the red brick wall. I know this wall. We can use this wall to hide a multitude of sins. That is all a brick wall. Then here, there's more of these. I'm doing this by eye, which is probably a mistake. Good enough. <coughs> and there are these little boxes in the next one. I'm telling you, the architect that laid this out was doing some really heavy drugs. Ah, there's supposed to be a big tree here. Yeah. I'm going to figure out this area. And I'm going to figure out these. And what else? sizing off of this paper and that is not good.
super classical architecture. I'd rather do track workhouses myself. They were much cooler. Now getting dark outside. got to do this church and we got to do all this over here and this is going to be a pain why do I have two steeples here what drugs was I on when I drew that there's one steeple there are not two there's a steeple from a church This is where it all gets very confusing. We're also going to do some serious simplification here. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's just something that's way too big for what it's supposed to be. Appears to be a second roof here. It cuts off 
these. This is some kind of house. There's some house over here. This really needs to be moved a little bit. Because there's another house in between these two. Okay, we can work with that. <clears throat> this is a way little big, but we're just going to run with it. Okay, what time is it? It's 1.05. I need to take a break and the file system is overloaded. I got to figure out something to do about that. Okay, so we'll see you later. We'll do some more work on this. We got this far. We're down to the last little bits here. That's good. See you later, alligators. <laughs>